Now I'm ready for bed. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little family channel where I take care of pretty much everything mom. If you are not new here, again, sorry, you have to hear that every time. In today's video, I plan on showing you guys this awesome hack to getting your hands and feet, if you really want to do this, uh, super smooth. And so it actually is pretty simple and I'm doing this before I go to bed so that when I wake up, my skin is nice and soft. Now, I don't know about you guys, but right now it's very dry where I am at. My skin has been cracking and even like on my thumb, it's like starting to bleed a little bit because my skin is so dry. And so I thought this is the perfect time to share with you guys this little hack that I've been doing every once in a while whenever I feel like my skin really needs it. Now I picked up a pack of these like plastic gloves from Walmart. If you wanna do your feet too, you can always use plastic bags. But pretty much what I'm gonna do is just deck my hands out in lotion. I like to use the Vaseline like intensive repair, intensive care, advanced repair fragrance free but really whatever lotion you guys like the best and I'm just gonna like coat it on we're not gonna try to rub it in we're gonna coat it on have a nice thick layer and then I like to sleep with these gloves on so that the lotion doesn't get everywhere on my bed and when I wake up it's like all absorbed and I'll make sure to show you guys in the morning but let me show you how I go ahead and put this on all right so the first thing that I like to do is just on like one hand Put your hand in the plastic glove and we're going to use this glove to really coat my other hand in lotion and then we're going to do this fancy little trick of essentially transferring this glove to fully protect this hand and keep all of the lotion on the inside so i've done about like five pumps of the lotion and we're going to just see how much if i need any more to kind of cover up my skin and I'm gonna make sure that like it's really thick where my skin is like the worst. Okay, so we got a nice, very thick coat and I'm gonna now attempt to transfer this glove. Now, what I kind of like to do is just kind of pinch the fingers off um, a little bit, hold the fingers with my lotiony hand and we're gonna use my other hand here to kind of swallow if that's the best word this other hand and then we just have to fidget with the fingers to get it to actually fit my hand all right so this hand is done uh, if you really want to make sure that like absolutely no amount of lotion leaks out you could probably put like a nice scrunchie that's not too tight just to kind of hold the glove in, pl in place but I honestly haven't had any really big issues doing this. Now for the other hand, I'm actually gonna put my other glove on this glove and do the same process. Now I'm ready for bed. Good morning, you guys. To see me right when I wake up. I've slept with these on my hands the whole time, the whole night. Um, I can still see that like there's a little bit of lotion, you know, like underneath. So it doesn't maybe get like fully absorbed but I know that my hands are going to be like super soft. So let's take these off. So this lotion has been sitting on my hands all night. Now what I just pretty much do to finish up is rub my hands together, massage them in, and then I'll take whatever extra lotion is, you know, left on my hands or if I feel like it's a sticky residue or anything like that, just rub it on any other part of your body that is dry that, you know, wasn't covered up by these bags. And I think I mentioned as I was recording last night that if you want to do this on your feet, uh, one of my friends, Christine from high school actually introduced me to the idea. Uh, you put the lotion on your feet, you put a plastic bag, and then you put a sock on like over the plastic bag just to kind of keep it in place. These obviously kind of are made for your hands. So if they have any sock versions, check that out, I guess, but you don't really need to spend all the extra money. So I put the extra lotion that was left on my hands on my legs. And I, you know, I don't know about you guys, when I put on lotion, just to put on lotion and then like go on with my day, I hate feeling like my hands are super like 
super lotiony and greasy or slimy and even with like the best lotions I really like this lotion that I used um even with you know the good lotions sometimes you're left with that like that feeling but you don't want to wipe it off because then it kind of seems like well do I have any lotion on my skin and is it actually going to help I don't know if those are thoughts that you guys experience, but it's what goes through on in my mind. And so I like this method because I know that even if I were to wipe off, you know, all the lotion that remained, which I pretty much have rubbed it into my legs, I might just do like one more thing. I know that the lotion was absorbing all night. So it's not like even if the surface doesn't feel like I have lotion on it, I know that I did something good for my skin. So here are my hands, rubbed all the lotion in, rubbed it on my legs. I don't feel like super like glossy or anything like that, but everything is like soft and I am ready for my day. So Make sure you guys give this a try. Those plastic gloves that I got from Walmart were like a dollar for a hundred or, you know, a crazy amount. I don't do this every night, but I do do this little routine when I feel like my skin is just beyond dry. And especially when it starts cracking and bleeding because then it's painful. So if you experience that, let me know in the comments if that's something you want to share. Let me know if you have any other tips regarding you know really dry skin or maybe like a lotion that you feel after you put it on like doesn't feel like you have lotion on your skin like this video please subscribe if you guys are new and want to stick around and I will catch you in the next one Welcome, we are so happy to have you. We post videos every Monday and Friday on a variety of content, lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, military life, DIYs, encouraging mathematical development in children, and so much more. Thank you so much again for watching and until next time.